As teachers, we have a certain responsibility to not just give people an experience of yoga, but to help them understand its reach. You know, there's this word in, in Sanskrit, it doesn't get a lot of press in the yoga world, it's called pragna. Pragna has these stages where at the farthest reaches of it, there's nothing unknown to you. In other words, there's an answer for every question you have, whether it's mundane or pragmatic. And at the highest stage of pragna, you literally have full understanding of the universe. Now, that happens to very few people, okay? But the idea is that's not even a discussion in most of, that's not even something we know that we can aspire to in most yoga classes. Come, let's work out, let's make our backs and our bodies feel better, let's feel vital when it's all done and go home and feel, you know, feel good. But not the scope of, my God, it's possible. That's where the bar of these yogis had, these sages saw. It's possible that, through like this principle of pragna, it's possible that anything you put your attention to on, anything you focus on, you have full understanding of. And literally it says in the scriptures that there's a place where there are no more questions. All the questions have been answered. And that may sound kind of esoteric. I hope it doesn't, because the sense of that is imagine in our life if we could at any time find the direction, you know, at any moment where we feel lost or confused or uncertain, all of that uncertainty and all of that doubt would be eradicated. And we would move from pure conviction, pure knowledge. Thank you.